Make notes about a recent incident. Let me move on. Healing, holding you back. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. I'm going to just keep pulling some cards here, but uh, if this is for you, you know what the recent incident is and you know what the notes are. It does not have to be, oh, okay. Never again flipped over. Take it as it resonates. Uh, oh, the notes that you need to make, uh, huh. it doesn't have to be exactly what you think. You will only be alone if you want to be. It could be journaling. Uh, could be texting someone. Oh, okay. Someone feels held back by you. Holding you back. Like, they feel like they can't move on without an answer from you. If this is for you, I, I manifest, I pray that you will know exactly who this is about. And if it's not for you, you can keep scrolling. Not every message is going to resonate for you. But I don't want to lose you and I felt abandoned by you. They feel stuck like to some kind of past incident oh oh wow oh wow okay they feel ignored i will never admit how much you hurt me and then that goes was never again never never someone's really okay let, let's speak this out of your life someone really needs healing we need to send healing energy to this person this is someone who is really trapped in the 3d world that's why i don't get too deep because we're ascending the more you give energy and thought to the things of this world the more the enemy wins they're feeding okay just just to let you know that's why it's not good to dwell in this negative space and my channel exists to, to just shed light and then get you out of it i'm not trying to keep you in it you are divinely protected you need to stop worrying and it was divine intervention not luck that was the okay i wondered if this card was going to come out because that's the recent incident hmm okay i'm not even going to read too deep into this i don't have to if you this is for you you know what to, you know exactly what this is about uh oh okay that came out immediately no reason to doubt <laughs> let's send healing energy to them and send also they need protection because i think what's going on is they're doing something that they don't realize is just look i take the bible as an allegory and it, as far as giving the enemy a foothold that's what i'm talking about like even these negative thoughts you need to stop worrying worry does it your subconscious belief these things that you fear are going to happen like job said in the book of job what i feared has come upon me why because he feared it and i used to think that was garbage because someone explained it to me once I, <laughs> the, uh, you know you have the pentecostal explanation and now i'm more i'm a gnostic believer but like you have the pentecostal explanation which is that it was his words it was his fear he you know don't talk about your fear what you fear will come upon you that's what the pentecostal told me Go to the, not Southern Baptist, um, Independent Baptist, Fundamental Baptist. The belief is that it doesn't matter, that no, Job, it had nothing to do with his fear. It's a whole different way of thinking. And I want to tell you, the Baptists were wrong. I was speaking stuff into my life. I had some, I've had some major things happen that had just to, to make me realize that my words were that powerful. The less energy you give to it, the less energy you're going to give back, get back from it. Start giving more energy to the things of, of higher level significance, higher self, of God. You know, this is not significant. Make peace wherever you go. You put out good energy and you are unstoppable. Okay, the peace and the good energy that you put out is what makes you unstoppable. That's the trick. That's, oh gosh. Lately, all I could think about is ascension. These readings are hard. I'm doing it to people please more than anything. Uh, because, but anyway, that's why I don't go beyond a certain level. Because, you guys... This is just earthly, th three-dimensional, hmm. just make peace. It's a game. The whole thing's a game. Um, please read, uh, there's a book I've, I've been reading called Living the Law of One by Carla Rukert. I suggest it. It's, it ties together everything that we need to do. This, this world is a game. The whole thing's a game. Make peace, especially with those people who have hurt you the most. I know, I hear it all the time in my comments. Oh my gosh, the comments I get, people are so mad at me for telling them, them to forgive people, forgive us our debt, if we forgive our debtors, who's going to do that? You know what? You don't have to. I don't, it doesn't, whatever you do isn't going to affect me. <laughs> you know, all I can do is be the messenger. You do whatever you want to do, but I can tell you that unforgiveness, and I've done it myself. It's happened to me. The unforgiveness will keep you blocked. The unforgiveness, this is a game. This is going to feel like a dream. Put out good energy and you'll get good energy back. Make peace and you'll get peace back. Um, and it's a it's a minute by minute thing. This person, this whole thing is holding you back. Anything that's causing you to worry, anything that's taken away from your good energy, 
is making you stoppable, okay? This you are unstoppable. The, the negativity, the unforgiveness, I'm sorry to tell you that. I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people aren't ready to hear it. I know. I've been there. I've been there. It took a long time to get to where I'm, I'm like, oh, crap. That, that person I don't want to forgive. Oh, you mean that's the test? Is for me to forgive them anyway? Oh, darn. But once you do it, once you start doing it, it gets easier. It doesn't mean you have to live with them or anything. It just means you don't, ex you don't expect anything back from them. You just let go of the debt. Make peace. Send peace to your enemies. I'm going to send it to them right now if you can't. If you're just like, I'm so mad at that person. I can't send peace to them. I can't send good energy to them. I'm going to do it for you right now. <laughs> Maybe I can do it as a substitution. If nothing else, I can trick your subconscious. Let your subconscious know that it's already been done. Because it has. Because I am I am doing it. Anyway. I know. This is a crazy reading. Look, we're ascending and that's all I got to tell you. I, it's hard for me to think about anything else. So that's, I'm just, I'm just going to end with this. You are divinely protected. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.